You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. The options market can be a confusing place, sorting through the daily avalanche of data, alerts, updates, articles, and analysis to find the most important information is an overwhelming prospect. But now you have help. Welcome to the Options News Rundown, the only program that breaks through the noise to bring you the most important news and information from the world of options. Every day, we bring you the top five option stories curated by the options experts at theoptionsinsider.com, the premier source for options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in options trading education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. And now it's time to break through the noise. It's time for your Options News Rundown. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, July 3rd, 2019. This is your Options News Rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Our first story of the day is from Investing.com. It's the top five things to know in the market on Wednesday. The first is U.S. stocks are set for fresh record highs in holiday trade. After two straight sessions of record closes for the S&P 500, the global equity benchmark looked set to continue the rally higher in holiday-thinned trade. Uh, The New York Stock Exchange will close its doors early at 1 p.m. Eastern and remain shut on Thursday for the 4th of July holiday. European shares traded higher on bets for further monetary policy easing, while Asian stocks ended lower as they priced in concerns over a new list of European products that the U.S. could target with tariffs announced while the region's markets were closed Tuesday. The second thing to know today is European bond yields hit record lows as Lagarde is chosen for ECB. European bond yields hit record lows on Wednesday as IMF chief Christine Lagarde was nominated to replace European Central Bank President Mario Draghi when he vacates the post in November. Investors are betting that Lagarde will follow Draghi's path of further monetary easing amid faltering global growth. German and French yields on 10-year sovereign debt pushed further into negative territory, while Belgian bond yields turned negative for the first time ever, meaning investors are willing to pay to hold the debt until maturity. In a separate nomination, also designated to break male dominance at top European institutions, Germany's Minister of Defense, Ursula von der Leyen, was named to lead the European Commission. The third thing to know is Trump chooses Fed nominees. U.S. President Donald Trump announced via Twitter that he intends to nominate Christopher Waller, an executive vice president at the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, and Judy Shelton, the U.S. Director of European Bank of the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development and former economic advisor during Trump's 2016 campaign to vacant posts on the Federal Reserve Board. Shelton has previously said that if appointed, she would lower interest rates to zero one to two years, mirroring recent calls from Trump for the Fed to cut rates. Waller has written about the danger of an inverted yield curve which occurs when rates on short-term debt surpasses yields on longer-term government bonds, which some believe to be an indication of an upcoming recession. Both candidates would be subject to confirmation by the Senate. The fourth thing to know today is services activity and labor data are on tap. A swath of economic data is set for release on Wednesday ahead of the upcoming 4th of July holiday. The Institute of Supply Management's gauge of services sector activity for June, along with factory orders for May, 
will provide indications of whether the American economy remains on track despite external pressures. Labor market data will also be in the spotlight ahead of Friday's monthly payroll report. Private payroll processor ADP will release its numbers for non-farm employment for June, while the U.S. Department of Labor will release its weekly jobless claims. And the fifth thing to know today is oil prices rise on hopes for U.S. inventory draw. Oil prices gained on Wednesday ahead of official government data on U.S. crude inventories that is expected to show a third straight weekly decline. The American Petroleum Institute's report released late Tuesday showed a draw of 5 million barrels, outpacing forecasts of a decline of 2.96 million for the Energy Administ Information Administration's data. Our second story today is from MarketWatch.com. U.S. trade deficit jumps 8.4% in May to the highest mark of 2019 on a surge in auto imports. The trade deficit jumped 8.4% in May to the highest level of 2019, reflecting record U.S. auto imports from Mexico and other countries. The deficit rose to $55.5 billion dollars, from a revised $51.2 billion in April, the government said Wednesday that's the biggest gap since December. Economists polled by MarketWatch had forecast a $54.4 billion deficit. U.S. exports rose 2% to $210.6 billion. The U.S. shipped more soybeans, autos, and parts, passenger planes, and networking equipment. Soy exports were running slightly ahead of last year's pace, suggesting farmers have somewhat recovered from disruptions caused by the U.S.-China trade tensions. China is a big buyer of Midwestern soy. Imports increased a larger 3.3% to $266.2 billion. The U.S. imported more foreign autos, oil, semiconductors, computers, and cell phones. Auto imports hit a record high. The trade gap with China rose slightly in May to $31.1 billion, but it's running behind last year's pace owing to U.S. tariffs. Our final story today is from Investing.com. U.S. private sector adds 102,000 jobs in June. U.S. private employers added 102,000 jobs in June below economists' expectations, a report by a payrolls processor showed on Wednesday. Economists surveyed by Reuters had forecast the ADP National Employment Report would show a gain of 140,000 jobs, with estimates ranging from 75,000 to 190,000. Private payroll gains in the month earlier were revised up to 41,000 from an originally reported 27,000 increase. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is news you can use for today, Wednesday, July 3rd, 2019, your options news rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Trade smart and have a fun and safe holiday weekend. Happy Independence Day. The options news rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in options trading education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. The preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the Options Insider, or via questions at theoptionsinsider.com.